before you knew it, 430 hospitals seeing a rise in cold, flu, RSV, and now strep throat cases in children. Concerns over strep throat are growing all across the country. In Colorado, the state health department said two children died from a strep A infection. In Iowa, a school district canceled classes because so many children were sick. Of course, here in Connecticut, sadly, we just learned about our first child's death from the flu this week. Joining us now with what parents need to know is Dr. Juan Salazar from Connecticut Children's. Dr. Salazar, good to see you again this afternoon. Good to see you, Mark. What are you seeing right now at the hospital with this? Yeah, we, we have not seen here in Connecticut an increase of, of this severe group A streptococcal infection syndrome, which has been reported in Colorado, Texas, a uh, couple of other states. Uh, we, we're seeing the normal group A strep infections, which are generally benign. The pediatricians can manage them with a, a rapid test, uh, which tests for the presence of group A strep, and then they, go, uh, they get treated with antibiotics like amoxicillin, which generally will take care of it. Uh, the importance for group A strep is early diagnosis and treatment. If you do that, then the effectiveness of the treatment is really nearly 100%. Uh, so we're not seeing that here in Connecticut. That doesn't mean that we need to be on the lookout for something like that. Well, it's certainly good news that treatment is effective. Uh, you know, there's so much right now, COVID, RSV, flu. Uh, what exactly is strep A? What should parents know and, and maybe look out for symptom-wise? Yeah, Mark, thanks. Uh, so group A strep is a, is a bacteria. So it's opposed to the viruses we have been talking about, like RSV, SARS-CoV-2, influenza. Uh, this is the, you know, a bacteria that's been around for, for decades, uh, more, over 100 years. And it's the, is the most common cause of, uh, of a pharyngitis, a bacterial pharyngitis, which has been around for a number of years. Uh, group A strep can complicate itself. And uh, the types of things that you would worry about is a uh, kid getting a severe pneumonia with group A strep, which would be obviously very concerning. The other thing that it can actually do is something called scarlet fever. Scarlet fever is a, a form of a systemic infection with group A strep, which needs to be treated with antibiotics. Uh, you know, many years ago, when the antibiotics were not present, people could die from, from scarlet fever. That doesn't happen anymore. And in some cases, uh, uh, strep can go into skin infections. Uh, typically associated with a cut that maybe uh, strep gets into the skin and it can actually cause a severe infection. Uh, one of the things I want to mention that is really, really important is that uh, this is a, another call to make sure that kids get vaccinated. Uh, kids with other viral infections perhaps can have a more severe group A strep infection, so it's time to get vaccinated for influenza. Also, don't, don't forget chickenpox. The chickenpox vaccine is very, very important. One of the main reasons chickenpox vaccine was put out there was to avoid a complication called necrotizing fasciitis, which can be caused by strep infecting those chickenpox lesions. So again, call to action. Parents can do things that are common sense, sensible, and we can avoid complications like the ones that they're seeing in Colorado and Texas. We've been talking a lot lately uh, here on the news about how the, the current flu shot seems to be working uh, or is effective against the flu that's out there. But we're, we're kind of setting ourselves up potentially, and correct me if I'm wrong, for a bad flu season. There is so much right now, like I said before, RSV, COVID. Are you concerned about where we are as we head into winter? Uh, it, yes, I mean, I'm concerned, uh, but and again, this is something that we can do something about. I mean, we have a very effective vaccine. Any child over the age of six months can get vaccinated. Uh, they do require two doses that they haven't had one yet. Uh, this year's vaccine matches beautifully with the strain that's circulating. So parents can avoid the complications of influenza, decrease the number of kids with influenza by vaccinating the children and vaccinating themselves. If we do this, uh, even if it surges, you're going to be protected. Uh, but yes, Mark, we, we unfortunately are seeing uh, a dramatic increase in cases of influenza, just like we saw RSV two, three months ago. And, uh, and we just have to be ready for it. Uh, but, but again, we can prevent the infection by doing influenza vaccination. All right, certainly some great information. Dr. Juan Salazar, good to see you again. We always appreciate you stopping by. Have a great holiday coming up next week. Thank you, Mark. Take care. Take care.